With this latest AOS 2023.2 release, you'll see the power of AOS extended in several areas. So let's get right to the key updates. With AOS 2023.2, we're introducing group-based authorizations, which means you can now assign authorizations to groups instead of only to individual carriers. You'll benefit from better performance and ease of use. For organizations who need more flexibility on when to perform controller updates, you can now schedule updates at a time that best suits you. If you're working with the locker unit MyFair, guards and supervisors can now go directly to the locker doors and present their badges to open lockers and help other users without having to go first to the locker info point. Now let's get through some of the smaller, but still mighty updates that will empower better user experience. Carrier photo can now be sent optionally over the bio API. You can now configure which blocked cards and carriers should be added or not to the OSS SO blacklist. We've all done it before, left our badge at home and gotten a temporary replacement well, now it's possible to configure both a default and maximum validity or number of days for a replacement badge separately. And last but not least, you can now use the Invexus 170 screen for both AOS intrusion and access control at the same time. Stay tuned for more updates and head over to nadopsecurity.com for all the details.